Hi guys, so we're just going to take a look at the key calculations to revise for the BTEC Promotion and Finance for Enterprise exam for the Level 2 BTEC. So uh, let's, uh, let's have a little look at this. So this first page is very much what you do need to know. And then we'll look on the second slide here at uh, the calculations that you'll be given in the exam. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look first up. Uh, so firstly, these ones, and you can see I've just color coded them depending on uh, what sort of category they fall into. So this is all about calculation of revenue, uh, costs, uh, and your basic profits. Okay, so uh, not the more complex profit, which is highlighted down below in green. Um, so fairly straightforward stuff. What you've just got to remember to do when you're working out your total variable costs is take the individual variable cost and multiply it by the quantity. Of course, you see me do this on the exam papers there. So uh, just make sure you're, uh, you're pretty sharp on that. And then it means you'll be able to work out your total cost. Now, when you get the uh, orders where you've got to take a percentage off uh, for a discount or something like that, you've got to be okay with doing a calculation like this. So if you're asked for 15% discount, for instance, uh, then all you've got to do is multiply whatever figure it is by 0.85 in this instance, okay? Because of course that's 15 short of uh, a full one figure. Um, so then you can see multiplying it by 0.85 gives you the right amount. So then you can calculate that accurately. Uh, here we've got gross profit and net profit, of course. So that's a really important calculation, almost certain to be on your paper. Um, and let's move it on. So then we've got the statement of financial position, which uh, is your net current assets. This is really important, this figure, okay? Current assets minus current liabilities. Does the business have enough short-term liquidity to cover its short-term debts, okay? And liquidity, of course, remember, is how easily you can repay your debts. Uh, and then your net assets position. So once you've calculated your net current assets, then all you've got to do is take your total fixed assets and add the net current assets, and that will give you the answer you need. Uh, finally, down here in orange, we've got cash flow. Uh, and so really important you understand how to work out the net cash flow, which is your inflows minus your outflows. Uh, and then you've got closing balance uh, down at the bottom. And that is, of course, where you take whatever is in that opening balance uh, so whatever you start the month with, and then you plus or minus the net cash flow, depending on whether the net cash flow is positive or negative. All right, so those are the key calculations. Test yourself on those, really important stuff. Uh, second slide, let's move it on. Uh, so these are the ones you're given in the exam. Let's run through these nice and quickly. So first up, break even. Uh, fixed cost divided by the contribution, which is price minus the variable cost. And that is the individual variable cost. And then we've got margin of safety, which is the actual output minus the break even point. Gross profit margin and net profit margin. And those, of course, tell you as a percentage, how much you actually keep as either gross profit or as net profit, uh, okay? Uh, and then liquidity, current ratio, current assets divided by current liabilities, and liquid capital ratio, that is your current assets minus inventory divided by the current liabilities. Okay, great stuff, guys. I hope that's been useful. Uh, see you next time.